Welcome to Robert's Game Corner, everybody. Today we're looking at The Bridge, which is a physics and perspective puzzle game by the Quantum Astrophysicist Guild. You play as a lone, hand-sketched scientist who teamed up with another scientist to perform forbidden science and turned everything into a topsy-turvy M.C. Escher painting, so now it's up to you to use your knowledge of forbidden science to put everything back to normal, uh, which is pretty responsible, I guess, as far as forbidden science goes. You know, I don't know about you, but I miss the early 20th century science. There was a point in time whenever we were just figuring out, like, how the universe worked and all of its natural laws and stuff, and everybody's imagination was running wild with the possibilities before we all figured out that flying cars were inefficient and we probably weren't going to get visited by aliens anytime soon. The art is all hand-drawn, so that's pretty cool. It's got a very distinct look, very much like M.C. Escher, honestly. And it goes a long way to portray the game's theme. The, the sketchy look and uh, turn of the last century aesthetic really drive home how forbidden the science is that you're performing. The music's also pretty good. It lends a uh, creepy and bleak feeling to the environment. The mechanics of this perspective puzzle game are easy enough to get a hold of. Uh, besides moving your character, you press one of two buttons, which rotates the level one of two directions. This in turn causes all the loose physics objects to be affected by gravity, so you have to exploit that in order to solve the puzzle and escape the level. Pretty simple. What's not so simple is the timing of your rotations, the keeping track of everything on the level, the positioning of your character, and the large amount of interactions between all of the obstacles and objects that you have to consider. Like any good puzzle game, you're provided with a simple mechanic and then expected to solve increasingly complex problems, and the rate of difficulty ramps up steadily, and the introduction of new elements really keeps you on your toes. I found the primary complaints about this game to be twofold. The first is that the puzzles can all be solved by trial and error, and that the second is the rotating of the level and the walking of the character are very slow, which draws the game out. To address the second issue first, I can concede that I did find myself waiting around for the puzzle to be solved on more than one occasion. Generally on levels where the solution is to rotate the level one direction 14 times, and then back the other direction another 14 times. So an option to adjust the speed of the rotation wouldn't have gone amiss, if only because variety is a good idea. Now, I'm not much of a puzzle game buff, but as far as brute forcing puzzles go, aren't most puzzles in games solved by doing that? Unless you sit down and work the entire puzzle out in your head, and then flawlessly do it in one go, you're probably going to make more than one attempt. And at that point, you're officially solving the puzzle by trial and error. Barring puzzles that are solved by inputting a code or by some other method that's virtually impossible to brute force, which isn't to say physically impossible, the overwhelming majority of physics and sequencing puzzles can be guessed at until the answer is ascertained. On top of that, the natural response when faced with a puzzle where the answer isn't obvious is just to try things until something works. So to say the puzzles are weak because they can be solved by natural human puzzle-solving ability is, to me, just the tiniest bit conceited. When everything's said and done, though, I can recommend The Bridge. While it's not an instant classic like Braid, which I've seen it compared to a lot, uh, you'd be mistaken for not at least giving this a shot, because it can definitely stand up on its own merit. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time on Robert's Game Corner, and uh, we'll take a look at some interesting things you've never heard of. Bye, everybody. See you next time.